Do you have any tips to deal with motivation and feminization? Yeah, make the thing a lot smaller, you know? I feel like if you have to if you have to build up a bunch of motivation to practice, like you're probably thinking about the task wrong, right? If you're feeling like you have to like amp yourself up to practice voice, like that's a sign that like you're thinking about it wrong. Uh, it shouldn't be like an intense task for you. It should be a very easy thing that you can pivot into and out of very easily, right? If you build it up in your mind as being like a really big thing, then it will require you to develop a lot of labor or a lot of motivation in order to take actions. But you need to think about it as no different than like checking out your phone, you know? Like, do you have to build up motivation to look at your phone? No, you probably wake up and the first thing you do in the morning is look at your phone. You know, there's no motivation required. In fact, the opposite. You think of it as a way to delay doing other things. And you have to try to position voice and voice practice in a similar camp as that, where it's something you maybe not look forward to do, but something that doesn't consume energy from you when you're trying to do it. I find that that's one of the things where, where motivation can be quite fickle, is that if you even feel like having to practice requires you to build up motivation, internally you're probably positioning yourself relative to the process in an unhealthy way you know if things require a lot of labor we tend to avoid them that's why it's hard for people who go to the gym for the first time to like stick into a routine because it's going to take a month two three four five six a year till someone really sees results but it takes a lot of effort and so but what happens is over time someone starts to find more joy in the gym and then suddenly it doesn't feel like it requires all this you know motivation to go there they look forward to going to it a similar process really needs to happen with voice and i don't anticipate you know your average voice user is going to fall in love with voice and voice is going to be the most amazing thing ever for you but you have to position it in such a way so that the stakes aren't as high oftentimes when trans or trans women or trans men or trans people in general non-binary people doesn't really matter when someone goes to change their voice they often have this like big like stake attached to it like oh if i can't just get my voice right then i won't be able to to be less dysphoric or i won't be able to pass or i won't be like this positions it so that the stakes are super high so that if you go to practice and the practice doesn't pan out exactly the way you want you're going to feel defeated you're going to feel disappointed and this is not a sustainable recipe for success so you have to reorient yourself to the process so that it's it's less like exhaustive you know, it's more casual. You can lean into it, lean out of it. You can practice for 30 seconds. You can practice for two minutes. You can practice for five minutes, 10 minutes, and you just move on with your life, right? It's not like, okay, I'm going to practice it. I'm going to practice it because that takes a lot of effort to even get that kind of position. There's other things I'd recommend too as well for like building up motivation, but I find that is, is one of the biggest the biggest issues I see, people position themselves in this process as if the stakes are super high and everything's riding on their ability to get their voice. And then all of a sudden to do voice is just takes so much energy. 